folks this is how it's done this is a little mailbox area we're going to move the mailbox right there and put in this metal material order i don't know if you've ever done this before but starting the first one off right where this crack is and you do the, the side that is uh that this is higher the other side's lower and it'll match up with the other piece so um, this is pretty easy stuff you just pop these off they were connected to the, the main the main border it's really easy i think they're 20 to 25 dollars at like lowe's and home depot and then i'm gonna use my shovel to dig back in all along the edge so that i have a nice bevel there to where whenever i have my fabric i can lay the fabric down into the edge staple it down and then put the rock in to where the rock will hold. I didn't put the border up along the concrete because when they're turning around here, they might hit it and the border is just gonna bend around. Whereas the stone will just settle in. It'll be fine. So, yep, doing this, gonna, I'm kind of approximating the how much border I have, material I have, and it'll end right there. And then I'll be able to uh, go ahead and do the cutting. Okay, we got the shape marked off so I can weed eat it now. Oh yeah, here we go everybody. Oh yeah. Alright, got it. Weed eat it down. About to blow this off. I like to weed eat it down just so I can get the fabric to be closer to the ground. Just makes it easier to work with then i'll come in on the edges and cut out the the soil lay the fabric down and then this is going to have river rock that way the no soil is exposed to where the weeds can pop out getting the fabric down I'm getting it to where you know the edges are not clean yet but we'll put the, the old border in and then we'll burn it that's how I've been cutting it with this burner over here that's the best thing to do with fabric especially uh, woven fabric like this because otherwise if the ends get frayed but if you use a burner like that and burn the edges it's way more clean cut so I'm just doing this last piece here and then we'll do we'll just go ahead and put the border down I'll show you from there what to do. All right, it's all coming together here, folks. Now, if there's any areas that need to get hit down, put a board on there or I just found a stick and that's what you hit so you're not denting this. So yeah, I just got it going on. And later on, in a little bit, I'm gonna come back through and burn all the outside. So, awesome, awesome. Ended up good there and at the end, I just bent this end piece back into the bed so that it's not sticking out here where the grass is going to be but it's in the bed i'll put that guy in in a second one trick you can do is put like a another hammer or something that will just catch the edge of the, of the staple not this but just the edge and then hit it down and then you'll be able to get this a little bit further down in. I'll show you how it looks. So 
See that way it's just further down in. It's a lot stronger than it would be if it was just flush with the top. All right, it's all in. Okay, it's time to go ahead and cut off all the excess with this guy. Now I'll go back through here and just get this to where it kind of has a clumpiness to it and that way it doesn't pull back through the um, side there. The rest is catching on fire, I gotta make sure it doesn't catch on fire more. clumps up there there we go it's all cut down goes there in there nicely all the borders I'm good there you go it's done guys now it's time for the other material okay let me show you what we got Boom. there it is everybody awesome gonna blow off all the Hey guys, I am whooped. It is extremely, extremely hot. I can't even talk. I'm trying to drink enough water, but man, it's so hard to with all the heat. It just goes away. But anyways, here we are, guys. Got everything in. It's looking good. We're gonna get some mulch there. Plants later in the fall. The mailbox will go approximately right there or right there. And the border is looking awesome. Have the the fabric all burnt. See how it's burnt? It just it makes it like clot up to where it's not gonna pull back underneath there so yeah works out nicely and there she is there's some other work here but this was the primary spot so i'm off for the day catch you guys later have a good good evening god bless well i'll give you an updated version or uh yeah just an update later on see you later guys we finished it put the mulch in there of course they're gonna have a new mailbox right there and then plants in there that'll be this fall but turned out nicely I like the border and yeah happiness happiness that is how you do it oh yeah <laughs>